That is a secret you will not see a lot of people talk about because most people do not follow it. I've been filming videos for like close... <gasps> It just hit me. It's been almost two years of me being on YouTube. This is actually insane. Uh, to this day, I mean, I've made over 100 videos. And whenever I have to sit down and film a video, I sometimes still feel the sick feeling in my stomach. I described it to one of my friends one time. She said, baby girl, that is anxiety. Anyways, let me tell you guys a little story. Back in the day when I set a goal, this is what it would look like. I'd have this random evening where I suddenly feel like getting my life together and I sit down, I write down all my goals, what I want to do and I'm so excited for the next day. I'd plan how my life would look like once I've achieved all these goals. I'd be so motivated the next day, I'd be so into it for like a good two weeks and then I'd feel demotivated because I'm not seeing enough progress as soon as I want to see. I stop caring, I stop caring about my goals and then I repeat the entire cycle all over again. It's like a vicious cycle, it's repeated so many times. Does that sound familiar to you guys? because there are millions and millions of people that don't really know how to goal set and they don't really know what it takes. In this video, I'm going to be very transparent with you guys and share with you guys personal stories. Make sure to watch until the very end of this video to ensure that you are maximizing your results. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mariam and I create content about fashion and fitness. Fitness-wise, I love sharing my fitness journey with you guys. I'm not perfect and I'm here to share my journey and today I will share with you guys the three secrets you need to know before the new year, I mean it is December now, to help you achieve your goals and to ensure you are not falling into the vicious cycle that we just talked about. The number one thing that you need to remember when you set a goal is the journey. The man who loves to walk will walk further than the man who loves the destination. It's pretty simple. When you enjoy the process of achieving your goal, you will get there and it won't feel like it's taken a long time. How many of us have found ourselves hanging out with our favorite people, our favorite friends, you will have hung out for like five hours and it literally will have felt like five minutes and just that over there enjoying you know the motions of things if you take that and you put that into goal setting that's the real game changer i wish i knew like you know five years ago that would have saved me so much time i'm going to give you guys a lot of personal examples and one of them being my youtube channel right now two years ago there was a point when i had zero videos and zero subscribers like zero knowledge on how to create videos and i basically had two options option one to tell myself okay i have a goal of achieving 1000 subscribers or option two i could have told myself okay i have a goal of creating one video a week for the next 52 weeks for the next year it may seem like it's the same goal because essentially the second goal will lead you to the first one but the change in where your attention is being given the change in your attention being given to the process over the end goal that slight shift is what will help you really ensure that you're reaching your goal when you focus on the process your goal is guaranteed and when you focus solely on the goal it's not really guaranteed. Let's go back to my YouTube example. I told myself that I'm going to be filming one video every week and uploading it for the next one year. I did not focus on the number I was trying to reach. I just focused on my output, what I could control every single week. Doing that helped me focus fully on my action, which is, you know, filming one video a week. When I started doing that, the goal was inevitable. That is the quickest way to guarantee that you're actually gonna reach your goal. It's when you fully focus Focus on the process of getting there because you relieve yourself of the pressure of the goal and you simply are only focusing on the process. I'm gonna be honest with you guys that if two years ago I had told myself I want to reach a thousand subscribers and that was where my mind was being pushed towards every single day, I can assure you it would have been ten times harder to reach a thousand subs. And honestly, I don't even know if I would have been able to make it here because that's just not a sustainable way to set a goal. Because I would have easily felt disheartened every single week when I haven't when I didn't see you know the numbers i wanted to see whereas me telling myself okay my goal is to create one video a week that was something that kept me going because i could actually directly control that i can directly control what my output is going to be every week but i cannot directly control how many subscribers i'm going to get every single week when you shift your focus from your entire goal to just a smaller bit which is a process Trust me, that's where the magic happens. This skill of only focusing on the process can be applied in multiple avenues of your life. It can even be applied at the gym, fitness-wise, whatever fitness goal you have. If your goal is to lose weight, instead of focusing on what your number is showing you on the scale, not that the number is actually that indicative, but 
for argument's sake, you should be focusing on actually getting to the gym a certain amount of times a week, you know, and actually hitting a caloric deficit, the process of getting to the goal, because that's something you can actually control. So once you fully understand that, we can move on to the second most important thing, and that is to have one to two percent increments every single week. Sounds a bit complex, but it's really simple. What I'm basically saying is that every single week, ensure that you are improving your process by one to two percent. It has to be, it has to be only one to two percent, but it has to be every single week. It cannot be five percent, it can't be ten percent, it has to be one to two percent, but it has to be consistent. Enhancement and improvement in your process it should be easily doable, very small, like one to two percent. Write it down somewhere, print it out. I have it stuck on my wall. That is a secret you will not see a lot of people talk about because most people do not follow it. If you read Atomic Habits by James Clear, by the way, if you are a loyal subscriber, you will know I always talk about that book. That book is great. Please buy it and read it. In that, he talks about focusing on the process of achieving your goals and also focus on improving your process by 1% every single week. Let's take an example. Say you have this goal of you know improving your heart health and you like to use the Stairmaster every week once a week your process to achieving your goal of having better heart health is the stairmaster every single week this is your process using the stairmaster every single week now how you would improve that is say for example on week one you're doing stairmasters for 10 minutes in week two you would do it for 11 minutes maybe 12 minutes 12 minutes would be pushing it you know small improvements every single week is what will help you achieve your bigger goal the reason this works is because it makes it easier for you to do one percent improvement every single week will get you farther than 15% improvements every single month because one is more sustainable and will not burn you out whereas the other one is not sustainable and will definitely burn you out I've been there done that don't want to do that again and when you are improving your process of achieving your goal every single week it's so important that you have some form of way that you are attracting that because you are going to have days where you're going to feel just like meh you know it's just not going to be your best day it's going to be like let's say a bad day and having a way where you're tracking your progress is really going to help you feel better and give you like a more zoomed out view into your progress my first year of youtube i used to have dates where i didn't really feel as motivated because i wasn't really seeing growth and i used to track my subscriber count every single month so at the end of the month i would screenshot my channel page put it in one of my notion files and i would do that for the next month and for an entire year and just tracking that helped me feel motivated because i could see progress there and had i not done that i wouldn't have have seen the progress I was making no matter how small it was progress is the biggest form of motivation it reinstates to you as well that it's really just you versus you it's not you versus your best friend or like your friend who also goes to the gym with you it's literally you versus you if you're reading five pages of a book last week and this week you're reading six pages that is progress okay so at this point you should be focusing on the process of your goal and you should also be focusing on improving it by one to two percent every single week now you have the first two things on lock now the third and final thing may seem a bit obvious but it is just starting starting is the hardest part starting your report you have to write, starting a channel, starting your fitness journey. Think of it this way, say you're driving a car and you have to make a right turn and if your car is still, if it's stationary, it's gonna be a lot harder to move your car to the right because you're not moving, you're still, you're stationary. But like, if your car is already moving, it's so much easier to just, you know, just go right so the same thing works in real life as well when you haven't started anything it's going to be really hard to pivot and to figure out where you have to go but if you're already moving if you've already started like that's the hardest part now it's easier to move around and figure out what works for you know i feel like the car example was pretty good you know i'm really proud of myself i mean it's the same thing in life if you're going to the gym one to two times a week it's a lot easier to increment from that to three to four times because you're already going to the gym you're already a gym goer and if you've never been to the gym if you don't go to the gym to tell yourself oh i'm gonna start going three to four times a week that's a really big jump and you are setting yourself up for failure so it's good to have a small and a very easy goal like you know maybe I'll go once a week and then from one you can make it two and then three and then four you guys get it I feel like by now you guys are experts I don't even have to like 
like we can wrap up the video now <laughs> i want to wrap up this video by telling you guys one last important thing and that is the words you are going to use with yourself the words you use with yourself really really matter and instead of telling yourself i'm going to do this new thing you know like i'm gonna like start the gym Tell yourself, I'm going to practice being a more healthy person. Just use the word practice because that shift in the word you use, using practice over I will do this, gives you more breathing room, breathing space because you're telling yourself that it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that it's always you versus you, you versus the person you were last week, yesterday, like an hour before. It's always you versus you. This was a slightly different video to my regular videos on my channel. The reason I made this video is because I want to make my fitness content more like that will add value to you guys. And I feel like me sharing my own journey and the things that have helped me achieve goals will be more of help and of use to you guys. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, comment down below or even send me a DM on Instagram. We can be each other's accountability buddies. I mean, we could try that. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You go